All right, everyone, so this problem here wants us to use the squeeze theorem to show the limit of the problem below, which is the limit as x approaches infinity of sine x over x. Now, first, I want you to kind of just understand what the squeeze theorem is, what it's saying in this case. Think about it like this. Let's say a class was lining up in order from shortest, in this case, to the largest. So the class is going to line up here and basically let's say we had these three people here so one two and then three clearly i'm an artist um in this case we are going to have let's say this is mary this is james and this is lou okay so mary james and lou here are lining up and they're standing in order right now and we find out that mary in this case is five feet tall and we also know that Lou is five feet tall well by that if we know they're lined up from shortest to largest here we would know then James would have to also be five feet tall because he's in between Mary and Lou okay so that's the idea behind the squeeze theorem here is if you can show what the lower limit is and you can show what the upper limit's going to be then you know what in between would have to be in this case. And that's what we want to do with this problem here. So let's take a look at this example. So let me go ahead and scroll down a little bit. So what we want to do in this case is we want to take the limit as x approaches infinity of sine of x over x. Well, what we're going to do here is focus on one part of the problem first. I know what the sine curve looks like. So I'm going to focus on that. So if you don't remember what the sine curve looks like, it was this curve that looked like this. Okay, this is y equals sine x. And the highest value there is 1, and the lowest value is negative 1. So I know that the sine curve is between negative 1 and positive 1 in this case. But that doesn't really help me here because I want to know what sine x, the limit as x approaches infinity of sine x over x is. Okay, well, in order to do this problem then, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply everything by 1 over x. So I'm going to multiply this first thing by 1 over x, the last thing by 1 over x, and the middle by 1 over x in this case. So with that here, I'm going to get negative 1 over x is less than or equal to sine of x over x, which is less than or equal to 1 over x in that case. All right, now I want to do the limit as x approaches infinity. So I'm simply going to do the limit as x approaches infinity of negative 1 over x is less than or equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of sine x over x, which is less than or equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x. So now I'm going to go ahead and do out each one of these. Well, for the first part there, if I were to figure out the limit as x approaches infinity, you'd notice that your denominator is getting larger and larger and larger, which means your function is getting closer and closer to 0 in this case. So we're going to end up with 0 is less than the limit as x approaches infinity of sine x over x. And then if I go ahead and do the right hand side here, same thing. If I go ahead and I'm going off towards infinity, those values of x keep getting greater and greater and greater and greater, which means that that equation is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, again, going towards zero. So that means if zero is less than or equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of sine x over x, and that's less than or equal to zero, well then, this whole thing here, the limit as x approaches infinity of sine x over x, must also be zero because that's the only thing that can go between zero and zero and make this true. All right, so I hope that video was helpful. Um, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.